Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you've been here before, I appreciate you joining me again. My name is Jane and I realize it has been a couple of months since I filmed a video. I finally made the time to sit down and do this and uh, hopefully there'll be more videos coming up soon because I really do want to get back into making some content. I have things to share with you guys and I've really missed talking to you and interacting with you in the comments and stuff like that. So thanks again for joining me. This is not going to be a very long video, I don't think, because I don't really have a ton of time right now, but I did want to share with you guys what I've been up to, a few things I've purchased in the last couple of months, and uh, I guess we can start there. Uh, first of all, it's what I'm what I'm wearing right now is one of the things I bought. I shared this in my community posts. If you're subscribed to me, you can see what I write on my community page. And one of them was sharing this uh, All Saints leather jacket that was on sale. I'll stand up so you can really see. It was on sale um, at Nordstrom. This is a Caden jacket. I think it's out of stock now, but I got it. It was 40% off. I've been looking for a leather jacket for months. Um, I bought one in the Nordstrom anniversary sale over the summer, but I really didn't like it. So I returned it, but I found this one and it was an even better price than the anniversary sale, which by the way, usually happens in the fall. Those anniversary sale prices are not the best prices of the year. So be careful when you're doing that. Um, yeah, so I love this jacket and it just smells so good. Like even sitting here wearing it, I can smell the leather smell that it has. It's a sheep leather, uh, so it's not lambskin, but it's sheep skin, but it's unbelievably soft. So it is an investment. I'm glad I got it on sale, but if you are looking for like a black moto jacket, which is very in style, check out All Saints. If you go to their website, I think you can get like a coupon for 15 or 20% off if you sign up for email and stuff like that. So I got this. Um, I just got these shoes yesterday off Zappos. They're in their sale and they are cute velvet flats. I think that they're going to make amazing party shoes or, you know, I can probably wear these at work as long as I just carry them to work in a bag and then put them on when I get to the office because this is the kind of shoe where you never want this velvet to get anywhere near nature, as I put it. But these are so cute. They are Sam Edelman. I don't know if I already said that, but if you check out the side, there's like this cute little button, which does not open. And this is kind of like a little stretchy so you can get your foot in there. They've got this cute little pointy toe. They are gray velvet. And I got these on Zappos and uh, they were on sale. I can link down below. They also come in regular black leather and maybe even like some patent leather colors, but these ones were $99, originally I think $140, so I decided to get them. And also, in the last couple of months, I bought a couple of handbags, which I have been waiting to share with you guys, and it's taken me forever. But I haven't been shopping as much lately, and I'll get into that in a second. But the first bag I'm going to share is from Marc Jacobs. I actually ordered this off of the Neiman Marcus website in early August. I pre-ordered it and it was supposed to ship by October 17th, but it didn't actually ship until uh, about a week after that. But I did finally get it and it is the mini tote and the color is blue sea. It is a very, very dark and cool blue color. Let me get a close up for you. So you can really see it's got that gorgeous pebbling and it is really beautiful. A lot of us have already seen this bag a million times, but this is a new color. It has a shoulder strap and the inside is kind of a caramel brown leather. I don't know if it's real or faux leather, but it is leather-like lining with a pocket, the fabric, fabric pocket inside, just an open slip pocket that hangs down inside, the zip closure, and all those other wonderful details of this tote. This is my second one. I already have the red one, as you might know, and there are no feet on the bottom, but it's just the perfect size. It holds everything you need. It's not too heavy and it's awesome. I like this dark, dark blue color. It goes with everything, especially jeans. 
So if you want to take a look at their new colors, you can go to Neiman Marcus or you can just go to markjacobs.com where they usually have everything. And the other bag I'm going to share with you is from Tori Birch. And I bought this, I bought this one on sale. I think it's September. Was it? Or no, I guess it was October. <laughs> they were having a big sale and this one was in the, included in the sale. I think it's back at regular price now, but I'm sure it will go on sale again because it is a seasonal color. But this is the Kira uh, Chevron shoulder bag, convertible shoulder bag with a chain. And this is in the Tempranillo or Tempranillo color. And when I saw this on the website, uh, it's showing up a little more burgundy on camera, probably because of my lights. And I think that happened on the site too, because when I saw this on their website, I was like, oh, it's a beautiful wine colored burgundy bag. And I wanted to add a color like that to my collection. But then when you see it in person, you will see that it does read brown. It's very, very much a warm brown with like just a drop of red. But I still really like the color, even though I did kind of wish it was a little more burgundy than brown but I still love it. It's got this gold, dark gold hardware. It's actually, I mean, it's gold, but it's a very dark color gold. I think it's really pretty. This is my first uh, Cura bag. I really like the magnetic closure. It's the newer style of the square shape, which is very, very strong. And the inside it's really soft too. It's super soft. The inside has their typical organization with like card slots, front compartment, back compartment, and zip compartment. So it holds just what you need. And you can convert it to crossbody if you want to, but I typically don't do that with these types of bags because I think it's just kind of too big for that. The shape just looks, for me, it just doesn't look right. So I just wear it as a shoulder bag. And I'm glad they have the leather straps on the shoulder, which I think for the newer iterations of at least the Fleming bag, they got rid of that and it's just, it's just a, a chain all the way across, which which looks good, but I it could be uncomfortable if you're not wearing a coat, if you're just like in a t-shirt or something. But honestly, my coach Pillow Madison bags, um, which I'll show you in a second, don't have that and it doesn't really bother me because it's not like I overload my bags and make them so heavy that they're uncomfortable. So I will show you that other bag behind me. This is my bag of the day, which is my Pillow Madison in the papaya color. I don't think I've showed this on my channel either. I did show it on Instagram, but it is this beautiful, I think it's a butternut squash color more than anything else describes it perfectly. It does have the chain, like I described, it does not have the leather break, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. It's still very useful and it's got a huge pocket with a magnetic um, closure in the back, which is kind of something I would have loved to have on the Tory Burch as well. It's got the turn lock closure, gold hardware, and it's got this flap, which I do always use. I put my wallet inside there. And right now I have my sunglasses and I have my uh, mini O case in the navy blue. What else do I have? I'm not carrying a lot today, honestly, because I didn't work today. So, and I've got my key, my car key fob inside of my pochette clay from Louis Vuitton. So that's all I have today, plus my phone, which is in the other room right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's my bag of the day, and I'll put that right here. So I also want to talk a little bit about why I've not been making any videos. I've just been pretty busy. I mean, that's kind of a lame excuse because. Everyone's busy, um, but it is part of my excuse is I've just been working a lot. I work uh, Tuesday through Friday, um, pretty much all day. And then by the time I get off work, it's time to get the kids from school and make dinner. And I'm usually by that point super like exhausted, like mentally exhausted, sometimes physically exhausted. And so I'm just, I don't really want to set up a video. And then on the weekend, I'm just doing other stuff like catching up on errands and other things. And today is Monday when I'm filming this, which is um, happens to be the day I don't work. And also my kids are in school. So I just have more time to like get things done and also plan to film something. So this is like a good time for me to do this. Um, so that's one reason. And I just also I have really cut back on my consumption. 
And I've done that mindfully, like I'm trying to save money and I have a pretty big bag collection. So I'm trying not to add too many bags. I also sold a few bags. I sold my Marc Jacobs uh, Fran uh, tote. It was kind of an older bag that I, I think it's from 2013 or something like that. I recently sold that one. I've been trying to sell it for a while because I just I want to make sure that um, if I'm buying new stuff that I have enough room, <laughs> literal room on my shelves to hold it. So, and I also want to make sure if I'm not carrying something or if something's really uh, annoying me that I don't let it take up space in my closet when something else could potentially go there in the future. I also recently decided to let go of um, my one of my Bottega Veneta bags. I haven't sold it yet, but um, I can put a picture up here if you're interested. Just um, send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram is Jane Loves LV. It's linked uh, in the description box. Be sure you follow me. I actually uh, post a lot more content on Instagram than I do here because it's easy. And uh, yeah, I am selling that even though it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. A lot of people love it. For me, it just doesn't have the structure that I realize is right for me. Like I right now anyway in my life, I need something that has organization and structure and I can easily find everything, easily get to everything. I don't want a slouchy hobo. And I know those types of bags are actually really in style right now, but just because it's in style doesn't mean I'm going to buy it. <laughs> and I hope that's the same way for you too. Um, it has to work for my my lifestyle. And it did work for my lifestyle in the past. I mean, I've had that bag a long time, but um, I really want to just make some space. Um, I have a pretty big birthday coming up in early January, and I would love to save up for a really, really special dream bag. And so I need to make room and, you know, make sure that I have, you know, money saved up for it too. I also haven't been uh, watching as much YouTube because again, I don't really have the time that I had before. Um, when I started my job, I was only working three days a week and now I'm working four and there's opportunity in my job to work even more because it's really going great. Um, I am just, I'm loving my job. I feel like so lucky to be able to say that. I know it's not that way for everybody. I just feel like I hit the jackpot uh, getting to work at this company, but it means I have less time for YouTube. I haven't really been watching as many uh, luxury unboxings and channels, even though I, I still watch the creators that I really like as people, but I'm not just randomly clicking on uh, unboxings for channels that I've never watched before. So not watching as much YouTube means being influenced a little bit less. And I'm also, like I said, just trying to save money and be more mindful, like Mary would say. And uh, I did kind of get some FOMO um, with the Chanel holiday gift sets. I didn't get them last year. And, uh, but I did buy a couple of them this year. Um, the ones with the lip gloss, which I wanted the lip gloss anyway. In fact, before the gift sets were even announced, I had been about to buy a Chanel lip gloss in this, one of the colors that's in there. So I actually was like, well, I might as well just get the set. And I also got the one with the hand cream and the, um, the lip balm. So I'm pretty happy with those. Um, though I didn't really need them, but you know, so I kind of slipped up there, but I didn't, I did not participate in the Sephora sale that happened last week or a couple of weeks ago. I did not buy a single thing. I don't really think the Sephora, um, semi-annual sale is a very good deal, at least not for me, because I think I would have only gotten 10 or 15% off because I don't really shop there. There's no Sephora where I live, so I I don't even walk in there. Um, I usually will go to Ulta. There's an Ulta near me. So the other thing I did recently is I went back to the video I made in January where I was talking about my goals for 2022. And it was pretty entertaining <laughs> because I feel like I was still pretty new to YouTube. And so I think I was a little bit stiff and nervous. At least that's how I came off to myself. But, um, and I really enjoyed seeing all those like incredibly ambitious goals that I had that a few of them did come to fruition. I'm really proud of that. But many of them were like, I don't know what you were thinking. But I mean, it's, 
We'll see it again in January of 2023. People go on YouTube and say, I'm doing a low buy year. I'm doing a no buy year. I'm not going to buy any bags. And then cut to four months later, you know, it's all gone. And so hopefully this year when I do uh, my wish list or my goals, I am a lot more gentle with myself and a lot more realistic. We'll see what happens. Anyway, so I thought I would share with you or remind you of some of my wish list and goals for 2022. And since we are in the middle of November, we will see how I did. So my wish list, which was very small, I was going to get a YSL or Saint Laurent handbag. I did not. I did not get anything from Saint Laurent this year. I wanted to buy some designer sunglasses, which I did. And I think this was in March I got these. Um, my Gucci, my Gucci sunglasses, which I love. I mean, I love these. I wear them all the time. They are, I mean, they, it, it's just the difference in quality between these sunglasses and like, I don't know, something cheaper that I would have bought in the past, like under a hundred bucks or under 50 bucks. It's quite evident. So I did check that off my list. And the only other item I had on that, in that wish list video was a Louis Vuitton pencil case, which I did get. Um, I got one from last year's Christmas animation, though I got it like way later because I had to put myself on the, the wait list and then wait like literally two or three months. And then I finally got it and I did a video about that and I really like it. I don't use it all the time, but it's such a cute and special piece that um, it's the London one that uh, I'm definitely really glad I got it. So as far as the goals that I set for myself, um, I'll go over a few of them with you. One of them was, of course, the low buy year. That did not take place. <laughs> I mean, I didn't go bonkers and buy like a bunch of Chanel, which I couldn't have done anyways, but it was definitely not a low buy year for me. Um, I said I was going to sell a few bags, and I definitely did sell quite a few bags, and I did buy a few bags as well. Um, I said I was not going to buy cosmetics or jewelry. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I bought very much fine jewelry, um, but I definitely bought some Hermes costume jewelry. Um, oh, and I was going to get a job, which I did. I pretty much got what I consider to be kind of a dream job, at least for my station in life right now, where I live and with my family and kids and stuff. It's just, it's perfect. Um, I think at the time I talked about how I was going to try to find a work from home job and in, in hindsight, I'm really glad I didn't do that because I don't think I would have been very happy working from home. I really like being around people and interacting and and uh, getting out of the house and having like something to do that's not inside the house uh, really makes me happier. And I also uh, had a goal of getting to 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which I did. I think I did that back in March. And uh, here we are almost at the end of the year, and I feel like I'm pretty close to 1,000 at this point. I think I'm about 70 subscribers away from finally getting to a thousand. And uh, I could have gotten there much sooner if I had been consistent with putting out videos every single week, but I just couldn't do it. And I'm okay with that. But hopefully I'll get to a thousand by the end of this year. And I can move forward from there and see what happens to my channel. Um, coming up, I will have um, probably, I don't know, maybe next week, I will have an unboxing. Um, yes, because I got a credit from Tori Birch because I returned something, and it's kind of a long story, but I returned a fleece jacket that was ridiculously oversized, and I was really bummed about the sizing. So I sent it back, and I got a gift card. I got a store credit because it's a complicated story. But anyway, the point is I got a, I got a store credit for that uh, jacket, and I decided I was going to get a bag with it that would be the exact same price, so I wouldn't have to pay any more. And so hopefully I'll have that unboxing coming up next week. Um, yeah, so other stuff going on. I'll try to come up with a wish list for my birthday. And uh, oh, and I also wanted to do another video where I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, the oldest bag in my collection. 
And by that, I mean the bag that I've had for the longest. And it's a bag that I got in the late 90s. And no, it is not a designer bag, but I still have it. Uh, maybe I'll show that to you guys in my next video uh, when I'm unboxing my newest bag. So my oldest and my newest. So that about does it for my video today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. And I'm so happy to be back. I would love to read your comments down below. And uh, I always try my best to respond to everybody. I hope that you guys are having a great day. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.